remember them a lot. I'll speak in English because um, this is a message to everyone here and to the rest of the world. And because my first language is English after I lived for 28 years in the UK. Um, I just want to give a brief summary about what we discovered and um, what happened in Geneva during the four-year annual period, universal periodic review of which the first country was Bahrain. Firstly, around 40 countries made the following three key recommendations. The first being the accountability of all senior officials responsible for torturing hundreds of victims and prisoners. This is the first key demand and recommendation that was made by uh, scores of countries. So the message is loud and clear that this country needs accountability and it needs justice for the victims. The second recommendation that was made is about a genuine and inclusive dialogue that is representative of the makeup of the people of this country. So this was an important message to be had by the that, that needed to be heard, that the, a strong party like Mufaf needed to hear this from the rest of the world and hopefully it will be responded to very soon. The third and final recommendation, amongst many, but the third key recommendation was the release of all political prisoners. The name of Abu Dhabi al Khwaja was repeated at least five times, as well as Nabi al It was It was interesting that the United States was the first country to raise his name, um, and uh, Denmark and Germany also. So we, the, the, the government of Bahrain has received the message loud and clear. The current human rights situation cannot continue. It must come to an end, and they are being watched. Now, as we've seen, we immediately faced uh, the state media threats and intimidation in the form of very defamatory articles that amount to hate speech as while we were there and as soon as we returned. Now, the message that the President of the Human Rights Council was sending to the government of Bahrain that what you say and that what you do and what is written in the state media is being read and, and we know what you're saying about your own people and this is not acceptable. So that message was sent very strongly last Friday and I think it's been received, and because of that, this, this uh, brave and noble delegation is being summoned for interrogation. Now, I've been receiving a lot of messages about petitions that are, that are being raised to protect and uh, to protect us from any type of prosecution. My response has been that our job as activists, who, are, who have loud voices, is to protect you, is to protect the people, is to pre protect the prisoners of conscience in prison. We are not interested in protecting ourselves. We have enough protection because we spoke the loudest. But it's the unknown people in prison who have no one to defend us that need everyone's protection. Um, so in that, in, in that sense, this is, I think, the, our, my position and the position of my colleagues. Um, we are already loud and we, our voice is heard and we have enough exposure. As you've seen, Nabi Rajab, because of international pressure, was released today. Everyone here sitting in the audience needs to make their voice heard. Everyone needs to scream and to shout for any reason, for any injustice that the state incurs upon them. So I just wanted to give you that clear message and to thank you all for coming here today and to tell you that you're not forgotten and that you are being heard and the rest of the world is listening and watching and slowly we are going to see the results because this regime is increasingly becoming marginalised it's embarrassing itself before we need to embarrass it um, because it behaves in a way where it shoots itself in its own foot. Thank you very much. سيتابع الثورة العالم بعد جلسة جنيف سيتابع الثورة ونريد أن نرى الحشود 
تنزل للشوارع موعدنا ان شاء الله يوم الجمعة القادم الساعة الخامسة عصرا انطلاقا من دوار الشاخورة يباع الفاني يباع على اطراف الساحة السيدي الذي يحمل عنوان صوت الثورة ويحتوي على ستين ونشودا الاروع المقطوعات الانشادية والذي يشن سابقا على هذه المنصة ويحتوي على ناشيد الثورة من ايام الدوار حتى الان وقيمته كقيمة الورفة المال دينار واحد نستقبل رئيس دائرة الحقوق والحريات بجمعية الوفاق السيد هادي الموسوي